for the second time of my life, I've been unable to pick up my T7 in the mud. It's a, it's a humbling feeling. Well, this is an unfortunate situation. Wouldn't you agree, Shem? I would. All right, T7, are you ready for this? We have a long journey ahead of us. Spain, here we come. So I boarded the ship Romantica and found my little cabin here. And I'll be taking this ship from Kristiansand, my hometown, on the southernmost tip of Norway, down to Germany, northern Germany, to a town called Cuxhaven, where I'll be tomorrow morning after a buffet breakfast. You know, we adventure riders, we need to eat. Then I have around 20 hours on the highway from Cuxhaven all the way down to southern France, where I'll meet up with the other guys on the northern side of the Pyrenees. Being a YouTuber isn't exactly lucrative, so instead of spending $40 on dinner on board, a full tank of gas, I kindly asked my mom to make me dinner that I could bring on board. Thank you very much, mom. I love you. Being alone on a ship is the most fun thing in the world, but they showed as good as it gets with Jack Nicholson. And I haven't watched that movie since I was a kid. Wow, what a beautiful movie. All right, I better get some sleep. I have lots of miles to cover tomorrow. As I am blasting down this German three and four lane highway doing 140, the T7 is purring along. I just quickly want to reflect uh, on the, my bike switch, you know, a year ago or so I sold a 71 and I decided to go for a bigger bike. And you know, for things like this, traveling far on the highway, there's just no comparison. Yes, the 71 is fantastic in the dirt, but it was limiting my kind of ability to, to go far and, and explore new places so yeah all in all i'm very happy with the switch i think anything smaller than a t7 for highway like this going far through europe or wherever not gonna cut it it's uh, it's extremely <laughs> uncomfortable even the t7 doing 140 is vibrating and it's not very comfortable but it's okay it's okay i'm having a good time all right I think this will do for the night. I've been on the road for 12 hours exactly and I have covered 925 kilometers so almost iron but worthy uh, but yeah I've uh, I've ridden through Germany, Netherlands, Belgium and now France. I'm actually just 30 minutes outside Paris. It's that way so I'm north of Paris. Sleep here for the night. I found this beautiful spot away from people, away from all the cars and the noise and um, I'll pitch my tent with the little daylight that I have left and then I will leave for Pyrenees tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, it's 5 o'clock, just going to pack down the tent and continue south, continue with the journey. I'm excited. Excited as always. Finally made it, completely underestimated the distance of this two-day tour through Europe. Completely exhausted today. But I am finally here, the sun is shining and I could see the Pyrenees in the background as I rolled into this city called Saint Parc de Luz or something. I'm just going to meet up with one of the other guys and then we're going to find a place to set up camp for the night because I need some rest. Alright, so we finally found a campsite for the night. The guy in the red shirt, there is uh, Shem. He's the mastermind behind this trip. He contacted me and asked if I want to join on riding the Pyrenees. And of course I said yes, and he planned everything. I just, he just told me when to beware, which boat to take, which ro road to, to ride. And then we met up down here. And this is the campsite for the night. 
the mountains that you can see in the background are the Pyrenees. So on that side is Spain, on this side, France. And I am absolutely exhausted. Good night. on what feels like the top of the world somewhere in France Spain is that way I believe the trail up here as you saw was completely fantastic sun is shining eagles soaring in the skies there are goats there are cows this is bueno Do you know if, if that if Spain is that way? Yes. Spain is that way. So that is the top of the Pyrenees pretty much. Yes. Okay. So I'm obviously using a proper machine. My my dear friend Paul uh, Shem, Polish friend, is using this little rocket, CRF 250L. And on the very top here, I'm happy to find another proper machine. T7 of a French gentleman who recommends the local cheese, so we have to stop by a farm and pick up some, some food later. Good job, man. Thank you. It's all being recorded. Oh, that's good. How this can be a part of the tip, I don't even understand. I can't believe that I'm taking the camera out to record this, but this is an unfortunate situation. Wouldn't you agree, Shem? I would. This is where the wind matters. Yeah, I wish it was a CRF now that I mocked yours earlier. <laughs> so, 12 hours of riding today as well. Tired, rear wheel slid. No excuse, we should have stopped earlier, but it is what it is. Okay, let's get it out with some teamwork. You're strong as a Polish bull. <laughs> Miniature version of it. <laughs> All right, attitude matters, right? This is the face of a beaten man. I, for the second time of my life, I've been unable to pick up my T7 in the mud. It's a, it's a humbling feeling, but it's a part of the game. I should have been more cautious. I should have asked my fellow rider for help before attempting that thing. But either way, We've found our way to a campsite with showers and toilets and it's not raining so everything is is muy bueno as our fellow friend Diogo would have said. All right, now once more, a very tired Johannes. Good night. Good morning from this beautiful campsite here in southern France. Uh, I've had some time to reflect over what happened yesterday late last night you know on the german highway getting down here i was raving about how happy i was 
going back to a bigger adventure bike. Well, yesterday I felt the negative side of, of having a big bike. Um, the weight of the bike, since the ground was so on, uh, not firm, the, the, the weight kind of pushed my rear wheel back. Then I had no place to put my left uh, foot and then I went over. If I had a lighter bike, that wouldn't most likely have happened. But at the same time, if it did happen, uh, me and my riding buddy Shem, we agreed that when the bike is upside down like that, down in a ditch, much steeper than what it looked on camera, it's uh, even his CRF250 would be a struggle to get up by yourself. So the moral of the story, be cautious if you're riding by yourself on a big bike. But uh, when you're going on two remote places, it's so nice to have someone to ride with that can help you out if you need to. And it just makes the whole trip so much more pleasant. All right, we are continuing our way towards Spain. And today we're meeting up with the third and final rider of this trip. Jairo Cabello from Spain. So we managed to find this romantic little spot, didn't we, Shem? Mm, perfect for two of us. Yeah, where we're enjoying the local cuisine. This is Vache made locally and Chevre made locally as well, I think. This is a great lunch after a serious day of riding. Once more, right? Yep. Oh. Are you okay? Excellent. Hmm, excellent. Well, interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nice and easy. All right, so we have a little muddy incident here in the, the Pyrenees. Uh, did not expect it, as with every other day here, to be this difficult. We have Jairo here from Barcelona. He's used to dry, rocky things. Absolutely hated the mud here. And on this side we have my Polish friend Shem, living in the UK, used to whales and mud is his daily food. And he's just enjoying himself, smiling from ear to ear, as you can see. And I am somewhere in the middle. I hate it, but I also love it because I crash and it's a hoot to be able to yeah, lift up the bikes when they're down, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Not yours, though. Not yours. A few times, a few times, as you can see by my bent handlebars. Shem, I know you will smile when you hear this or see this. Uh, I was initially very negative towards going into a campsite. Why pay someone to use their grass when you can do it for free outside of the fence? But having the ability to shower at the end of a long day in the saddle, wow, that's... That's a luxury that I don't think I can live without now. So thank you, my friend, for convincing me of spending these 10 euros on someone's lawn. All right, good night, long day tomorrow. I got it. No, 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 wait, wait. Save your back. Oh.